Um, Cyril, just to update us then on what the situation is there, I can see from where you are, you're uh, on the tarmac, as it were, at the airport there. Yeah, it's quite amazing, like uh, the scene we are experiencing here with my Afghan colleagues. We have been walking for two kilometers inside this uh, very military uh, airport of Kabul. It's totally evacuated now by anyone but some dogs, actually, and the, uh, the, uh, the security of the Taliban here. Oh, it's quite amazing that the American troops who just pulled pull out of the country a few hours ago have just left dozens of vehicles as uh, shoppers. This American shopper is just left over. We can see uh, lots of them around where I'm standing. And the Taliban are coming in and just I mean, checking, really, ch basically checking what's going on and what do we, what do they have? It's a, it's really an amazing situation, quite surreal here where we are living. This is no man's land here. We can see security by the Taliban everywhere, but it looks like they're just taking uh, full charge of the airport, full charge of the country, and they are quite hospitable as for now. They were just inviting us to show that it's a peace now. They have they have the full sovereignty of the country. It is said that uh, also. Here, very much at the tarmac, which is totally empty now of this military airport, empty of any of any planes. We have we see a lot of of MVs and uh, armored cars uh, roaming around. But it's said that uh, the, the last hours of the night, when the Delta Force, the elite commandos from the American force, were the one we were, uh, were, were organizing the last evacuation, the last plane landing, uh, taking off. Sorry, it's said here among the Taliban people, and this is uh, conditionally that I'm telling you that that they there were two. Of these elite members of the American force who did check in with uh, the the, milita the the Taliban uh, security forces, who were just moving in, just symbolically uh, to check in to finish this 20 years uh, war. But now I can tell you this is full of Taliban on the tarmac, so they have full sovereignty and control of the airport, full control of Kabul, full control of Afghanistan. We are heading for the creation of the uh, Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan, of Afghanistan, under control by the Taliban. And um, they will they will soon form a government, and there is no any of American soldiers here. Twenty years after they put step uh, inside Afghanistan. And just very briefly, Cyril. I mean, it seems quite strange to us, perhaps, to see you uh, being able to report there from the tarmac there at the airport. I mean, do you feel safe at the moment? The Taliban um, happy to have you there. Well, this is the key question for the few of us that we are who are still in Kabul. The thing is, uh, for now, it looks like the command, the high command of the Taliban, is really, really trying to push with this, uh, uh, let's say, a charm offensive towards the international community. We are not many foreigners here left in uh, in Kabul, but they really played the game and they made they made uh, some uh, statements saying that uh, we are just welcome. This is look, this is peace which is uh, recovered uh, because the invaders, the Americans left this is what they this is what the the statement here is the problem for everybody here and and I'm I'm mentioning first, of course, the Afghan population. The first, the, the first uh, question is now the security. There is no any more of this uh, anti-missile system were activated at the airport and uh, by the American. Of course, the American left and they have destroyed all they could uh, have. Uh, they could attack, uh, attack with, with, with them. So if there is any rocket attack by the Daesh, by the ISIS in Khorasan, the Central Asia franchise of the uh, ISIS, if there is any bombing or the kamikaze. Uh, coming here, there is no anymore this uh, very sophisticated uh, anti-missile or defense system or drone by the American. This is forever it for now. So this is in full charge of the, the Taliban. So this is the risks now. Uh, this rivalry uh, between the Taliban and uh, ISIS and Daesh here over, over the sovereignty and the control of Afghanistan. Uh, we don't know what is at stake, what's going to happen. And uh, very quite millions of Afghans, I can tell you this morning, I just, uh, just woke up with this Islamic Emirate, which is a, a new trip in the, into the unknown for millions of people here. Cyril, good to be able to talk to you today. Thanks very much. Uh, look after yourself, of course, and uh, uh, joining us there uh, live uh, from the tarmac, in fact, at Kabul Airport. Thanks very much.